On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you with your life? 10 being the most. Are there days where you feel like you're living life in autopilot mode? Where you go through the same similar activities, time flies by, and you wondered, what did you do with your time? When living life in autopilot mode, it's synonymous to sleepwalking through life. Lacking the inner vitality and energy blocks us from reaching life's full potential and therefore value. The biggest problem is that the only person who can fully unlock your true potential to transform the person who you are now to who you want to become in the future is yourself. Today, I will share with you three key points that have helped me transform my energy levels and unlock my potential. These three key points all start with the letter S. So I'm going to call this the 3S model. The very first point, this very first S I'm sharing, is the one that provides the most inner energy vital to our foundational success, and that is to sleep better. Yes, to sleep better. With sufficient sleep, it leads to better mental health. And that mental health leads to better physical health. Better mental and physical health leads to better energy. And that energy is felt as soon as you enter a room, which leads to better karma and better business and social networking opportunities. This type of energy is all linked to sleep. In my personal story, there was a time when I experienced chronic sleep deprivation, which was a huge energy blocker. You see, when you're young, it's important to step outside of your comfort zone because becoming too comfortable, believe it or not, leads to life dissatisfaction. At the time, I was working with the health authority full time while pursuing graduate studies. I didn't want to step outside of my comfort zone of finding new exciting work because I was afraid I would not be able to deliver as school is very demanding, let alone new work. As a result, I felt really stuck. I really wanted change, but I also didn't want to take the risk. This resulted in unsatisfied lifestyle, which led me to poor behaviors and terrible habits. One of my worst habits was staying up late for absolutely no reason. Due to the lack of sleep, I would wake up every morning feeling extremely lethargic. Every day, my mind felt more and more clogged and heavier than the next. Over time, I developed chronic sleep deprivation. As part of my sleep transformation, I did an experiment on myself where I did not set an alarm and slept unlimitedly. The aim was to get more and better quality sleep, and the results were absolutely shocking. I lost more than 10 pounds, those pounds that I could never ever seem to lose, no matter how often I tried to work out. My mental health was transformative. Every day I was really optimistic as I felt rejuvenated. I definitely laughed and felt a lot more happier. Feeling more energized, I also took more risk. When I finished my graduate program, I took on more challenging jobs. Now, after my sleep rejuvenation experiment, I have been able to think things through and decide to start my own private consulting company. This is all linked to sleeping better. The moral here is that sleeping better is key to optimizing your mental health, capacity, and overall human functionality which is the baseline to optimizing your potential. Having the energy from sleep feeds into this next point. This next S is called self-awareness. We need a clear and energized mindset to become capable of doing this self-awareness exercise. You see, everyone is different. We all have different goals, different dreams, different ambitions. Being self-aware provides us an opportunity to introspectively think, what do we want in life? From there, we can reverse engineer to think, 
What are the daily steps I need to take to achieve this long-term goal? Because things don't just happen, we need to make things happen. In continuation with my story where I experienced chronic sleep deprivation, which bogged my mind, I actually turned towards a drug. This drug was more addictive than marijuana, and it was called caffeine. Yes, it worked, but the consequences was that I couldn't sleep at night. It led me into this vicious cycle where I needed more and more caffeine every day to stay awake. It was through my self-awareness exercise that I found a few trigger points that prevented me from sleeping well. First, I realized I was a very caffeine sensitive person. Now, I understand drinking a cup of coffee is fine for enjoyment, but with the cups of coffee, coffee I was drinking to stay awake, I was essentially overdosing myself with caffeine. It became an addiction that had long-term impacts on my well-being. I knew I needed to break this cycle if I wanted to live life optimally. The second trigger point was social media, which was designed to be addictive with its endless scrolling capabilities. Through self-awareness, I realized if I wanted to function optimally, I would need to reduce my caffeine intake and stop playing with my phone near bedtime. Now, after my self-transformation, I now start work every day at 7 a.m. The moral here is everyone is unique and different. Everyone has a different set of problems and issues. It could be chronic procrastination, not being able to forgive yourself for past mistakes, saying yes to absolutely everything. Through self-awareness, figure out what is blocking you from reaching your life's potential. Discovering and acknowledging your blockers is already half of the battle. Self-awareness is key to unlocking potential. Figure out what works and doesn't work for you. Staying true to your values as a person. However, dealing with a problem might require more help and accountability, which leads me to this third S, which is social circles. Did you know you are the average of the five people you hang out with the most? These people have the most direct influence on you. Family and friends give you a sense of fun, laughter, emotional support, and guidance. In our darkest times, your social circle will help you to become more accountable and think coherently. Here's a situation where my social circle helped me. Have any of you tried online dating? I once matched with someone via online dating who seemed very ideal, almost too perfect. He was charming, enjoyed cooking meals, had the sweetest personality, lived and traveled very well. He confessed his love to me every single day, as well as his full trust and loyalty. Of course, I was completely caught off by this charm. Then there came a point where he wanted me to wire funds as he promised to help me invest with gains. As I haven't met him before, I became very cautious and wary of this ask. I am a careful person, but the reality is, is that there's some really skilled romance scammers out there capable of manipulating mindsets. They can trick even some of the most cautious people. What happened was that I opened an account and transferred some money in via Bitcoin. It was through my social circle that woke me up from my dream. The entire process just wasn't right, but I was just too blinded to see. My family friends felt the fraud radar and helped me come to my senses. I was actually really lucky. An old classmate of mine just happened to have completed the exact same MBA program the same year the romance scammer claimed to have completed. Through verification with various people, there was absolutely no record of this guy ever completing the program. Through my networks and social circles, I also learned it is important to do video calls to verify someone's identity prior to meeting them. Because in this day and age, 
anyone can create a fake profile by taking photos from someone else's account. This scammer always found a way to get around video calling. My social circle woke me up, kept me accountable. In the end, I didn't lose money as I came to my senses in time, transferred everything out, but what I wasted was time. My social circle helped me to realize this reality when my own mind was very clouded. The moral here is that your social circle helps you become accountable and motivated regardless of your goals, ambitions, and dreams. It could be that you want to lose weight, sleep earlier, eat healthier, become drug free, change habits. To unlock your potential, it is important to find your support circle and expand on meaningful relationships that can help you realize your future goals and dreams. To conclude, time is a non-renewable resource. Time and life is limited. We need to move away from simply existing and start living. To fully embrace your potential, I've shared with you the 3S model that can help guide you. First is to sleep better, which gives you the energy and vitality to critically think. Second is self-awareness, to realize what is impeding you from reaching your goals. And third is your social circles, which helps you to keep you accountable in your life's direction. My transformation using this 3S model has resulted in better energy, more self-awareness of my time, and more meaningful networks that have helped me grow as an individual. What does your potential and self-transformation look like? To finish with a quote, life is not measured by the number of breaths you take, but by the number of moments that take your breath away. Thank you.